This is Linda Lee with Ask Me PC, and we're talking about how to block malicious IPs from accessing your website or your blog. Now, if you have hosting that's using the cPanel interface, it looks like this. They all look a little different. Bluehost, HostGator, I offer this to my clients. Um, there's a very a lot of people use this and it's real simple to use so you log in and you're gonna go check your stats and you've got AW stats here and when you hop over there you're gonna go and see a whole section like this and it keeps track by year and it tells you all sorts of great things well I saw that in April I had 11,000 visitors and that's a little like much almost double my normal so I knew something was off so I went down and I went through there's so much great information here and I could see that the Russian Federation came to my site 230,000 times in China 112 and the Ukraine you know those were probably not legit then as I go down further and I see that my main things indexed were a forum which is like a spam bot hacker paradise almost a half a million times which I don't even have this anymore and then also they tried to log into my website quite often so you can see there you've got almost 3,000 attempts to log in so you know you're having some trouble there so here's a solution for you First, you can go back to your cPanel and go to the security section and go IP deny. This is great because if you have somebody leaving you nasty comments on your site or a troll or something, you know, uh, the comment section always records their IP. So you can copy that, come in here, and just block them. They won't even be able to get to your site anymore. So that's a great thing right there. Next, you can just go back over here if you're not sure. And I discovered, I took a look at all these IPs, the 188, and I use a thing called up here, who is this IP? And you can see this was the Russian Federation. So I went back and I knew that all of the 188s were from Russia. The 91s were from Turkey. And so I went in and I just went ahead and blocked them. All you have to do is just put that IP in there, say add, and then it'll keep adding. Now, that's going to definitely help straight off the bat, but I was thinking, gee, you know, that'd be something you'd have to remember to check every month, and, you know, it's easy for them to just use new blocks of IPs. So, I looked for an alternative solution, and if you have a WordPress website, you can try out this uh, plugin, which I've installed, called IQ Block Country. So, um, over here, I have put it in and let me just go to plugins for you because once you put it in just show you where you can find it after you install it just hover over settings and then you'll see it's on there it's plugins go all over the place you probably had that frustration of after you've installed something you can't find where it is on the menu um, they do suggest that you download the new geo database once in a while and in here you can just go ahead and you can I've already blocked a few in here but you can just go ahead and pick ones that keep coming to your website that you think are probably not real and just click them and block them and let's see what do I have here I've already done most of them okay well anyway you could just pick any one like I don't think Pakistan would really be coming to my site save changes and that is now I blocked um, Russia oh Belgium you know what Belgium has a lot of hackers oh my gosh so many hackers there we go that's a good one to block by the way hacker city Nigeria Russia is the worst by far the Ukraine is pretty bad too so those are ones but you can find out for sure if you go into your control panel or your web statistics and see who is accessing your website and you know some people get excited they have all these I had you know a thousand visitors a day but did you check on those visitors were they real were they spam bots were they people trying to hack in or wreck your site so it's good to check your stats at least once a month so you can sort of see what's going on with your website so I hope this helps you uh, leave me a comment if you have any other good suggestions for people and come back and tell me how this plugin works because this is the first time I've used it too thanks very much